Hey Gold Hunters, welcome back. So what we're going to do today is we're going to change the colors of some tenement holders. If you've been given um, access to tenements for a certain holder, you can color them up. So only those tenements are a different color to all others. Color tenement by holders. We're just going to go through this tool. This tool is slightly slow. It obviously does a lot of processing in the background, so you just got to be patient with it. As you can see, it's a little slow. Okay, I'm going to go patent it. I don't know why I'm picking on them, I just am. So what we're saying is we're going to say all our tenements, regardless of what they are, in all these, what we can say is current holder. What color would you like? We're going to say red. Five and pending, and we want no spatial filters. So I'm just saying whatever it is in Australia, in Western Australia, color them up. So not applying any spatial filters here. Hit the OK. It says, yep, I found one Paddington. Is this the one you're after? What it's effectively asking you is to clarify this one. Select Paddington or your mining company. Scroll down and go next. There's a bit more processing. And wait for it. Does a little bit more processing. It's very unclear on what's going on, but it's actually doing a whole bunch of stuff. Okay. And it will make my map change. Doing a bit of zooming in. Turns out all the tenements. There it is, all in red. Okay. So I can go back to my data layers, turn my tenements off, and that red area is my area of interest. Here we are, all Paddington's. Oh, do you want to go there? Yes. Comes up with these few other little prompts here. You just go, yes, do you want to return to the initial screen? The answer is yes, we do. It's gonna ask me a few more questions. So that's a way you can filter out all other tenements that aren't, in this case, Paddington. You could apply this to any mining company or any holder, effectively, okay? And you go, yes, next. Add the color holder layer. So we're adding it to our background and we're done. We're finished. So what this did down the bottom here, here are my holders Paddington, okay? So let's put it down here so I can turn them off. Turn back on as I see fit. Excellent. Now, if you wanted to get all them as a shape file, you could again come through here. Oh no, maps and data sources. Save as a shape file. What that means is it'll save any drawings that you currently have on your on your 10 graph web to a shape file. So then you could play with it, put it into geo maps, you could take it out to the field. How prospecting it is. All right, that's it. Leave a comment. If you want anything else showing, let me know. All right, bye.